The 460 Commander is a demand-initiated control that utilizes a single-piece meter to measure actual water usage. The control features a microprocessor or miniature computer to monitor daily usage and calculate a reserve sufficient to assure a constant treated water supply to the user. The reserve is variable. It changes as water usage increases or decreases. Actual daily water usage is entered into the microprocessor. An average of the previous seven days usage is used to calculate the reserve. The reserve is constantly adjusted and the result is a system that never regenerates too late or too soon. The customer will enjoy a continuous supply of treated water and realize a substantial savings in salt and water. The latest version of the 460 Commander features Novram technology. In the event of a power outage, the Novram will store the computer data until power comes back on. The time, capacity, hardness setting, plus remaining capacity and reserve will all be kept in memory for as long as the power is off. A battery backup is not required. To program the Novram 460, locate the access panel in the upper left-hand corner of the control, then gently open it from the bottom. You will observe a vertical row of labeled header pins and a jumper that will be moved to perform the programming. With the jumper on the two pins to the right of the word time, set the time of day to the closest hour by depressing the black set switch below the display. A PM indicator will come on to indicate PM hours. The 460 will automatically regenerate at 2 a.m. If regeneration is desired at an earlier or later time, you adjust the clock accordingly. For regeneration at 4 a.m., two hours later, you set the clock two hours earlier than the actual time of day. Remove the jumper from the top two pins and place it on the next set to the right of the word hardness. Depress the black set switch until the proper hardness value appears. The hardness range is from 1 to 99 grains per gallon. Remove the jumper from the pins next to hardness and place it on the pins opposite the word capacity. Depress the black set switch until the correct capacity in kilograins is displayed. The capacity is from 1 to 99 kilograins. The capacity of the unit is based on the salt setting on the brine control and the resin capacity of the unit. For example, a 1 cubic foot unit with the brine control set for 6 pounds of salt would have a capacity of 20 kilograins or 20,000 grains. You would set your microprocessor to 20 for this example. Refer to the chart in the 460 owner's manual for suggested salt settings. After capacity is set, return the jumper to the top set of pins opposite time. The unit will not operate if the jumper is not returned to time. The bottom three sets of pins are used for factory testing. Do not use these pins. The water flow indicator on the display will flash whenever service water is flowing through the valve. This provides easy verification of meter operation. A guest cycle or manual regeneration may be initiated by depressing the red pointer knob. After a few minutes, regeneration will start. The unit will return to service in about two hours. If you are manually advancing the camshaft, you should not advance the red pointer knob directly to the conditioned water position, 6 o'clock. Instead, move the red arrow just past purge, about 7 o'clock, and let the timer advance itself into the conditioned water position where an internal switch will turn the motor off. In the event of a service call on the 460 Commander, use the same hot and cold water test procedure outlined previously to confirm that the unit is not regenerating or if it is being overrun. Then, inspect the brine tank to see if the unit was regenerated without salt. The red pointer knob should be in the conditioned water position. Open the access panel and check that the jumper is installed in the time position. Move the jumper to hardness and capacity to confirm that the proper values are programmed. The time of day should be within one hour of current time. Now, open a soft water tap 
and verify that the flow indicator is flashing. If it is, the turbine is operating properly. If it doesn't flash, the turbine may be obstructed. To confirm that the turbine is obstructed, you should disconnect the Hall Effect probe from the turbine housing. Using a spare turbine assembly to test with, plug the probe into the receptacle and blow through the test turbine. If the flow indicator flashes, the microprocessor is okay and you should remove and clean or replace the stalled turbine. Since the 460 will regenerate only when necessary, here is a simple way to verify that regenerations are occurring. Tape a string to the camshaft and check it after a few days. Every wrap around the camshaft indicates that a regeneration has occurred. A common problem is for the programmed capacity to be different from the actual capacity as set on the brine controller. For example, a capacity programmed too high in relation to the brine control setting will result in a pattern of soft water for a few days, then hard water for a day or two, followed by soft water. You solve this problem by bringing the programmed value in line with the actual brine control setting. The programmed capacity should correspond to the proper brine control setting. A complete troubleshooting guide is included in your owner's manual. You may run across existing 460 timers, which are earlier models that have either jumper wires or three rows of jumpers. These units are also easy to program, and troubleshooting is the same. You will want to consult previous owner's manuals for actual instructions on programming.